also to put it in perspective for you I turned this black light on about five hours ago and I haven't been down here once since the best hours for moths are later in the night but the best hours for diversity are earlier in the night at dusk and thereabouts when it's warmer so here we are September 3rd really not much to see here the season is starting to wind down a little bit a ladybug here not doing so well on its last legs it was having a little bit of trouble holding on there the water boatmen congregating in the corner over there a few moths it's their time of night. A small ground beetle seeking shelter under it. A little bark beetle, I think. It's funny what you notice after doing this night after night. A very small beetle there been stuck in a web for a few days. Something already fed upon it, I think. I hear noises out in the green space behind me. And I wonder what it's all about. A crane fly here. Shaking. It's meant to confuse a predator who might be thinking about making a meal of it. Here on the bulb itself, a yellowish leafhopper, some little gnats, chironomids, another kind of leafhopper, translucent wings, an orange head, a parasitic wasp walks by, a couple moths, geometrid, geometer moth, something here, I'm not quite sure what it is. A leaf roller moth. It's characteristic bell shaped wings. And here again, another moth I'm not familiar with. The same species, I think, as that last one. You hear there the orange underwing. One of the largest moths that we see here in the area on a pretty regular basis. And a uh, pretty loud one. They stir things up. They get them moving. There. You can see two ladybugs. The one that you're more familiar with. And then this here. Silobora is the genus. In the east, they call them the 20 spotted ladybug, but here in the west, the spotting is less conspicuous. You can see sometimes things crawling beneath the container. Makes you wonder what's down there. 
that, well, looking through the camera, I couldn't quite figure out what it was. Check into that a little later. The time just slips away from me. I don't know if you remember the other night. I suppose I haven't posted the video yet, but it makes me wonder if this is the very same slug that was making its rounds here in proximity to the hackle mesh weaver, the Colobius severus. Took a video the other night of this moth making its way through the web and the spider had come out as if to attack or defend its territory. And then they just sort of went their separate ways because one was not a threat to the other. Two strangers just passing in the night. And then looks like maybe a click beetle here met its fate in the web of this spider. So many webs as we work our way down the gutter here. Pretty common inside of homes, but a cellar spider there. And then because I'm shining my light here, you saw very briefly a gnat get caught in its web, but perhaps the light was disorienting the spider a little bit and it didn't attack the gnat. Or perhaps the gnat was just too small to register as something worth the spider's time. You hear the night insects calling in the background. It's very peaceful out here. If you don't go outside at night or by yourself sometimes, you're sort of missing out. Wouldn't necessarily expect you to set a black light up, but the heat of day has passed, and it's just very pleasant out here. I do hear large animals moving around in the green space behind me. I see some spines along the longer back legs of this leafhopper, and that's one of the things that distinguishes them from spittle bugs. Spittle bugs you may be familiar with. You'll see sometimes on long grasses what looks like spit, and those are the secretions of an insect that looks very similar to this but lacks the spikes on the back legs. Image there. Fishermen tie their flies based on the body shape of that insect there. Their family is called Chironomidae. They are Chironomid flies in the order Diptera, along with house flies, below flies, and flesh flies, and mosquitoes. All of those are in the order Diptera, as are crane flies, which are sometimes called mosquito hawks. Two things here. Another Chironomid fly. It seems to have some mangled wings. Perhaps it's caught in the web that is now underneath. of this geometer moth. 
probably a male based on the antennae. Cryptic wings, you can imagine it up against the bark of a tree, blending in so well.